All right, guys, welcome back. And today, guess what I'm doing today? I will be going to dyno test this baby for the second time. And hopefully, we get the results we want. You know, last time I had a couple of problems with uh, O2 sensors and the antifreeze. Um, but hopefully this time, you know, at least I'll hit like a 450, you know. But who knows? Let, let's hear a cold start, guys. Let's, let's, let's hear this cold start. Alright guys, so we are here and we gonna dyno this baby. You know, this is the second time that I'm gonna dyno it and hopefully we got some good results. You know, I fixed all the little bugs that it had, you know, with um, EMP performance and we also, you know, did um, catless mids and um, we changed the O2 sensors and we uh, took care of the antifreeze problem. So, this is the second time me dynoing it and i predict 450 i'll be happy with that you know so you know just to see where i'm at before i go to the next step so that's what i predict 450 so let's see what's gonna go on guys i'm gonna cross my fingers <laughs> So I want to point out that, you know, I did a good thing putting the stock steelies because I would have not fit on the dyno. Look. So we, we're here buddy, round two, right? Absolutely. Yeah, this is gonna be a good one. I'm 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 guessing 440, 450. That's right around what you said. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna piggyback off you. Uh this this dyno is a dyno jet, so it, it, it's pretty accurate. I've I've jumped on on this dyno before I started modding and I got uh, 330. And then, you know, as I continued modding, I kept using this dyno and I found that it was pretty accurate. So whatever this thing is, is showing, I think you can, you can pretty much, you know, book it. That, that's and that's what I want to do. Like before the next step, just like you, you want to record how the progress yeah, that you, you make. I want to stick to one dyno um, and this way you can see the progression yeah. mod, mod to mod, you know, yeah. which I, I find important because then it lets you know, like, yo, did the X amount of dollars actually pan out? You know? Yeah. So I'm a big fan of dynos. I, I think uh, it's it's uh, one of the better ways to see how the modifications affect your ride. Like a lot of guys that they go out and do a quarter mile, but there's so many different vari variables that go into a quarter mile. Yep.
And right there, guys, right at that moment, seeing them thumbs down was like, damn, not again. This is the second time I tried to dyno this car, and I cannot get its peak horsepower. Like, what's going on? Like, damn. So, you know, thank God I had RT Life with me, and these are clips from the rest of the day. So I hope you enjoy, and make sure you follow RT Life because, you know, he always throws down on the regular great content and he always up for mopars so make sure you follow guys rt life and enjoy <laughs> So we're running into a little bit of issue. That's why the horsepower is not reading as high. Uh, right around here is 4,000 RPMs, and um, we're not we're not getting a reading after 4,000. So I think the red line on the the RT is at 4,000 right now. So we're gonna see uh, if we could do anything to to make up that you know that two th that missing 2,000 RPMs. So right now at 4,000 RPM, he's making 340. So I think in another two, 2K RPM he has to work with, I think it could get to 450. But uh, we'll see. Hopefully we could get it figured out. If not, then uh, anybody that has a Pro Charger, uh, this is what you can expect at 4,000 RPMs. <laughs> You know which one it is? Nah, I'm just gonna take these out and hopefully it works. <laughs> take them all out? Yeah, let's see if it works. So right now what we're looking for is the ABS fuse. The tuner of this vehicle said that the ABS fuse, if it's pulled... All right, just take that off the... Yeah, take it off, let's try it. It will go to 6,000 RPM, so... I don't know, we'll see. Good, right? I tried a couple different things. Okay. All right. Closing the door because I didn't do that. Maybe I thought that was it. All right. All right. That's it. So the 464 is third gear, 5,000 RPMs. 
So, I mean, dude, you're making power. It's just you're you're just not redlining at six thousand. That's really what it comes down to, you know. So, I mean, the power is there, but you're just not able to find your peak wheel horsepower. All right, guys, so after today, I'm going to take RT life's advice and I'm going to go in for a second opinion. You know, he knows a lot of people in the car community and in the Mopar community. So he's going to lead me to the right direction, guys. And, you know, just like anything else, you know, I believe in human error. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's go take this car for a second opinion. Let them revise the install. Let them revise the tune. And let's see what happens, guys. You know? So please stick around and see what, what will be of this build. You know? Let's see if we could actually find its peak horsepower before we move on to more performance upgrades. Because I don't want to move on to more performance upgrades knowing that there's a problem. You know? So... Stay tuned, guys. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video, guys. Stay tuned. And you don't want to miss the next video because I got the SEMA slammed to the floor. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe, guys. Peace.